right, so we're going to go ahead and smoke some brisket this afternoon, or this morning, or this evening, I should say. And what we're doing is, this is our um, wonderful smoker that my husband modified yesterday, which I'm very happy about. So, on ours, in the bottom here, we have this box. Let me just clean it out. It has a slide-out tray. That's what I'm going to build my fire on. I just have some hardwood lump charcoal. Some of it looks like this, some of it looks like this. You just put a pile of it on this thing. And let me get in here. Like this. Stacking it kind of nice and giving it some air to breathe is always nice. And underneath the tray there, there's an air pocket that air can go around into the back, so it's... Yeah, you don't push this tray all the way back, you actually leave it sort of centered so the air can flow around this. Yeah. Um, after I get my fire going good, I have here some, these are apple branches off our apple trees from a couple years ago, and I take these and I will throw these in to keep it going and give it a sweeter flavor. So I'm putting some lighter fluid on it just to make it easier to start, um, and I'll leave it out till the fire dies. I have to make sure that on the inside here that my chimney stack is up, and it is not. How do I get this? You just pull that right out. Yeah. Okay. This keeps fire from coming inside of here. See, because there's my chimney. It just like keeps the fire and the smoke from hitting my meats. Or whatever I smoke. Because I do like this the taste of smoke in my food. So I like go ahead and smoke vegetables and stuff later for soups and different things. Yeah, we were talking about smoking some tomatoes, garlic, maybe some onions. Yeah. There's some other good suggestions from other people yesterday. Do you have lighter? Uh, I gotta go find a lighter. How long do we smoke it and what kind of temperatures are we talking about? Well, smoking is not a heat. It's not a hot thing that you do. Um, there's not going to be a lot of heat from this. Smoking is about flavor. So, basically, once you get it smoking, you really only need to smoke your meat for up to about three hours. It's not cooked at that point. And some people who are like diehard smoking, smoke their meat kind of people, they'll be like, that's not smoking. And they're right. Um, you can hang your meat and you can smoke this thing overnight. That means you're getting up every three hours, two and a half hours, to make sure your fire's not out and feeding that fire and making sure that's going until that meat is fully cooked and done. Um, I only do it for about three hours. I'm going to put it in a roaster, throw it in the oven. All the smoky flavors in there. I just don't have time. Yeah. So, anyway, time on this. Uh, it's really just about how long you want to be out here stoking this and making sure So if you smoked it straight through just to make it um, finished by only smoking, how long would it take? 12 to 14 hours. Okay. That's a long time. Well, we've got we've got the charcoal started here, and we'll get back to, uh, you know, stuff later uh, in prepping the meat and uh, show you guys what we do before we put the meat on the grill. So here's my meat that I'm going to smoke. This is my beef brisket. Um, I leave the fat on it because it gives it more flavor. Um, mm, to smoke beef. this, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt because I want to hold in the juice. And that'll help seal that a little bit. At least that's what I've been told. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little pepper. And onion powder. And I have garlic here. Now, I'm going to do all of this again once I bring it in. Um, rub it in really good. And I'll do all this again when I get, um, when I bring it in in about three or four hours after smoking it to give it the flavor that I want it to have. So I'm just going to gently wrap this. I'm not wrapping it up tight. I want that smoke to be inside the meat. And I carry it out just like this. I'm going to put it on the smoker and put a lid on it. So you can see I put it in here, it's kind of smoky and it's hard to breathe right here, so <clears throat> you can't really see it, but it can smell it. 
Um, I'm going to throw my lid on, and you'll be able to see the smoke come out the top here. Right here, because I'm going to close it up. I think it goes the other way. No. Oh, maybe. All right. And so, now we wait. Um, or, but we're also going to put wood on it down here. Not yet. In a little bit. Yeah, so there we go. All right, so basically, um, we've been smoking this for a few hours. And one thing you got to do when you're smoking it uh, is take a look at the hole here. And if it starts to just come out like almost no smoke at all, your fire is either out or you are burning hot and you're not getting a lot of smoke. So what we do with that is directly with the fuel, you know, I've got basically dry applewood right here, and, and it's been cured, so it's, it burns faster. So we want some of the stuff to be dry to keep the flames going, but we want some of it to be soaked as well. So I'm just sticking some of the applewood into this jar, soaking it. You can also take your fingers and dip it in and flick uh, if you've got too much heat, you know, just just flick it out a little bit, and flick the flame out, and that helps a little bit. But mostly you want to keep a nice balance between wet wood, so it smokes, and dry wood, so it keeps burning. And, uh, you know, we've got a little bit longer to go on this, and I'll show you the rest when Dory gets back. Um, what it looks like when it's partially done through. Um, we got a good amount of smoke going on here, and uh, you can see the garlic has been affected by the smoke it's starting to like get a brownish color and uh, I'm not sure I think we do this two or three hours and we're getting close to done with it um, but that's what it looks like in process if you want to keep that smoke going. Hi so I'm about to check the brisket really quick it's very smoky which is good Greg's been keeping it going for me throwing some wet um, stuff on there and taking care of it you can see it's smoking really nicely and starting to do its thing. It smells really good. Anyway, in about 30 minutes I'm going to take it out and put it in a pan and I'm going to bake it the rest of the way with some herbs from the garden. You can do some rosemary, got some lemon, have some garlic and some other things. We're going to rub into it real quick and then going to let it cook the rest of the way. About, about four and a half hours on 275, maybe 300. We'll see. You're picking rosemary, right? You're cutting rosemary and what are we, what are we doing with this? This is going to go in with the meat, um, with the brisket, when I go to cook it. So I'm just going to lay these around. It smells really good. I wish you had smell of vision because it smells amazing. <laughs> this is going to go in with the meat, with the lemon and the garlic to just give it a little extra flavor. It's not smoking anymore, Dory. I know. I, I purposely let it die out so that I could just come in here and grab this piece of meat. It's a little bit warm, but it's not hot in here. So I can just take it like this. And I'm gonna go put it in my pan inside. So here's my meat that's been smoking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of um, seasoning to this. So we've got right here we've got Chris's famous barbecue. Yes, Chris's famous uh, barbecue. That's Chris uh, uh, Fisher's. Fisher. Chris mm -hmm. Fisher's famous barbecue. And he. Uh, generously shares this with us up for Christmas, so I'm just going to add a little bit of this for um, extra flavor. All right. It already has the smoke flavor that I want. Um, I'm going to take my chopped garlic and I'm going to sprinkle this in here as well. Like double layer. Yeah, we already did this earlier. Um, the other thing I'm adding is two serrano chilies from my um, garden. My garden, because I like, well not that I'm going to eat it, but I know from I like it hot. I like it hot. Yes, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this lemon now that I, I peeled and sliced. I'm just going to lay it over the um, brisket here. So this will like eventually soak in a little bit, yeah? Yeah, this is going to get cooked at um, 275 for about five hours, all sealed up. So, cool. So that'll be really good. Dump in a little bit of juice that's left in there. And this is the rosemary that we just picked. We're just going to lay it across the top to give it a nice savory flavor. 
Well, that well that also like it has some sort of oil in it as it well. It does have oils in it that kind of sinks down into down it. In We're gonna close this all up with this foil here that we have that we were smoking with. And I have more foil that I'm going to use. To okay, so, so basically we're about ready to have this taken over uh, to be prepared elsewhere. It's prepped. It's totally prepped and ready to go. We are going to my girlfriend's house. Um, you'll see I'm, I'm completely not going to be sealing it inside of here. And then I'm going to seal around the top outside layer as well. Uh-huh. Hold the heat in. Hold the heat in. Um, and you're going to cook it at what temp? I'm going to cook this at 275 for about four and a half, five hours. Cool. So. All right, we're ready to go. Yeah, yay. All right, so I've come to my girlfriend's house and I've put the brisket in here. I'm going to pull it really quick here. I said it confidently. Ugh. Okay, we're going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Let me get my I did add a cup of water to this just to keep in the moisture and hold all that yummy in. Oh my gosh, that smells divine. Mmm, I want to smell it. Oh yeah, that does smell really good. So, um, I'm going to pull the rosemary off because I don't want it to continue to cook. I'm done with it at this point. And then I'm going to add my barbecue sauce. I've chosen the best barbecue sauce in the bottle and I don't think I can show you the label. Oh sure you can. Uh, three baby this is my yeah, favorite. That's so. awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of put this up over the top. All right. And then we're putting it back in for how long? And we're going to put this back in until five, so another two and a half hours. Yay. That's going to be amazing. We'll check it out when it comes out. And that's it. Okay, so this is our brisket. There's a lot of people here right now, so sorry about that. We just pulled it, and this is what it looks like now. And just to show you how tender it is, I'm going to grab a fork and show you. Oh, it's not very tender. So it's got to go back in for a little longer. That's all right. We're still about two hours away from eating. But that's okay. Excellent. It's good that we can do it for longer. Yep. Yeah. So All right, so got to check on it. Check on it, that's the whole point. So, Thanks. Two more hours. Thanks.